Well, I can't imagine the expectations being any higher. Uh, definitely not going to sneak up on anyone this year with all the preseason hype. But it has a lot to do with how we played last year, how, how we finished uh, last year in the regular season. And you know, obviously, we had a football team a year ago that, that was as good as anyone in the country. Um, unfortunately, we didn't play as well in the postseason as we would have liked to. Um, but, but I think this team and a lot of those players are back. And I think they have you know, the same kind of expectations they had a year ago. And hopefully, we get another shot this season. Well, it doesn't guarantee having all the returners on offensive defense special teams. It doesn't guarantee an undefeated season or a conference championship or a postseason appearance. But it, but it gives you the opportunity for it. You know, it gives you a shot at it. You know, we're going to take that shot. That's that's all you can do. And um, it's not going to be easy. We play a lot of tough games. Great competition. It's, a, it's an unbelievable conference. Um, Mercyhurst playing a non-league opener. Um, you know, so there's uh, you know we've got some hurdles to. to, to Cross before we uh, to get over some hurdles to get over before we can even start talking about championships and postseason. But uh, players have worked hard, expectations are high, and everyone's excited about the uh, 2016 football season. It, it all starts with quarterback, and Travis Turnowski's 18 and three as a freshman and sophomore. You know, he just continues to work harder. He's never satisfied. He competes against perfection every day. He wants to be perfect. And, you know, he leads. He leads by example. Um, he makes everybody around him better. He's a winner. He's tough. You know, he's, uh, he's smart. You know, so he's, he, it's his team. You know, I've, I've said that before. It was a year ago. And so, um, you know, we, it's a lot of pressure to put on the quarterback, but, you know, we'll go as far as it can take us. And, um, you know, the good thing about it is that we've surrounded him with good players. And, you know, quarterback, no matter how talented or how tough or how good a leader that they, they, they are, they need great players around them. And um, obviously with a, a tight end who's proven to be as good as there is in the country, uh, a running back who's an all-league performer uh, year after year, and an entire offensive front back and some real skill at wide receiver, it does uh, give uh, Travis a chance to, to really uh, have a good season. A lot of challenges with the schedule. It's, it, it's, a, it's great to get a chance to open early. You know, we have those three games that we open at home. I think that's really to our advantage before we go to Ferris. And uh, we, it's just so important that it gives us a chance to get out of the gate. And we've played pretty well here, you know, over the years. So I think it's a, it's a big uh, advantage for us. This place has really become a, a, a great place uh, with, in terms of a, a game atmosphere, uh, the spirit, the student body, the community. It's wild, and you know, you play on a Thursday night. I, you know, we'll have great student body turnout and, and support. And then, obviously, the next two Saturday nights, we have some big events planned and some honors to bestow on some great players that, that have played here in the past. You know, every, every week is, is is something else to get fired up and excited about. On top of the game, not just the game. And, you know, it's got competition, playing a really good Mercyhurst team out of the PSAC, and then obviously playing a tough Wayne State team and year in, year out is just a physical battle for us. And then having to play a, a rival team like Fenley, I mean, those are those are three really good openers. I think it'll create a lot of excitement for the Division II college football fan, uh, not only in this area, but, but, but in the entire region.